finding the true length of this line segment AB so as to find the true inclination of the line segment to the horizontal plane. I take my set square, I line it up on the edge over there, I move it down approximately 10 millimeters and I draw a line. That line I label it x1, y1. Once I've got that, I'm then going to take my set square again, I'm going to place this set square up against the line. I'm going to place my other set square next to it. I'm going to slide it back. This is vitally important that you get this part right. I then take my set square around here and I draw lines coming off at 90 degrees from the ends of this little line segment A1, B1. It is vitally important that those angles over there are done exactly at 90 degrees. Reason being is that I'm now going to look at this line at 90 degrees. I know that if I'm looking at a line at 90 degrees, I'm then seeing a true length. Right, so I need to take measurements from the vertical plane over here, transfer that measurement down to this new auxiliary plane. I'm going to label that A2. So I've got this measurement from the XY to A. There is A. Follow it down to the new XY axis. Place it down here and I have point A2. Take this measurement from B. Take it down. Find B1. Go down to the new XY axis. Place that down over here and I have point B2. This line over here is going to be a true length of that line segment AB. I could write in a capital A, a capital B. All right? Because it is actually a true length of that line. I'd prefer you just to use the A2, B2, but if you sometimes find textbooks that have a capital A, capital B, straight away you will know that that is an actual true length. Right, okay. Once I've done that, I need to find the true inclination to this line segment. What you're going to do there is you're going to slide this across and you're going to draw a line coming across from there. You're going to take your protractor and you're going to measure that angle in there. 